This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by lynda.com. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Android Wear. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. Today, Google has announced its official entry into the smart watch race which really started last year with the likes of pebble and also the samsung galaxy gear coming out to the market and so that brings us to android wear which is basically bringing everything you know and love about android over to smartwatches. And it looks like it's going to be heavily focused on google now which over the past couple years has definitely matured into something that i think is extremely useful and google now basically has these different cards for information like your favorite sports teams or weather or traffic information calendar alerts of course and all types of different things where you can see either by swiping to the left or swiping up depending on what device you have running Android and even within the Google search application for iOS they have Google now so what this means is that Android Wear will be able to notify you when you need to be running to work because there's a lot of traffic or you have a calendar alert or if you get a message via the Hangouts app you'll be able to go ahead and say reply and then I'll be there in 10 minutes something like that and it'll go ahead and send that response back to that person so it looks like a lot of these smartwatches will be having built-in microphones I don't know about speakers so I don't know if you can actually take phone calls on them but we know that it'll probably be incorporated with some built-in microphone to add more functionality to it. And even in the video, they showed this girl dancing and the watch noticed that she was dancing by her movements and say, hey, you may want to check out this song. So it went ahead and identified that song by listening to it and it found it and it can probably download it from the Google Play Store. So that's the type of functionality that Google is bringing into Android Wear for a smartwatch. Now, Google Maps will be incorporated inside of Android Wear. So if you're running or walking somewhere, exercising, uh, you can get the distance that you travel and also calories burned and then stuff like you just want regular navigation you can use it to help you navigate to a certain place just by using your watch now they said this watch will connect with android smartphones of course uh, via all the apps that you have downloaded i don't think there's any word yet about whether android wear will be compatible with ios devices meaning that they can talk to all the google apps that are on ios just yet i'm pretty sure that will happen at some point down the road but we're just not sure about that right now now, to me, the most important detail of this announcement is just a list of manufacturers that are already on board to go in and start working with Android Wear. You have Samsung, you have HTC, you have Fossil, LG, Qualcomm, Motorola, Intel, Asus, Broadcom, and MIPS. And so already out of the gate, we have instant competition with a lot of these major companies announcing they're going to be working with Android Wear. Now, neither one of these companies have actually said a solid release date for their first watch, but LG and Motorola kind of gave us a little teaser today showing us what their designs for one of their smartwatches at least is going to be. And LG showed off the G watch which is a more kind of traditional square shape for a smartwatch that we see nowadays. Um, something very similar to the Pebble. But the one that really caught my eye is the Moto 360 which is not only a great looking smartwatch it's just a great looking watch to begin with. And so this is the watch that honestly if I saw this and if it was out for a decent price I'll probably just buy it because of the way it looks with just a regular time face on it. But the fact this is going to be running Android where it looks beautiful has a circular shape um, and it, it just looks like a very amazing watch that I don't want to watch that looks like a smart watch. I want to watch that looks like a watch, but it's smart, if that makes any sense. So it looks like Motorola is on the right track with this Moto 360. It looks like it probably either going to have interchangeable bands or, of course, they have different versions of this watch coming out. Uh, but the main thing is that Android Wear is able to go ahead and adapt to different sizes and different things so companies aren't restricted with just making a square watch or a circle watch. And so today not only marks the beginning of Android Wear, but really Google becoming extremely extremely serious about taking over wearables here in 2014. We could see a release of a consumer version of Google Glass come out anytime now. And so I'm really excited for Android Wear. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below what you think about this software. If you don't already own a smartwatch, would this make you want to buy a smartwatch? Leave your comment down below. And thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace. And the sponsor for today's video is lynda.com, which has over 77,000 video tutorials to help teach you creative software and business skills. You can get 24 seven access to these top quality videos for just 25 bucks a month. And they cover everything from web design to programming and also photography. And they have mobile apps where you can actually watch these videos on the go if you want to. Now this sounds good to you and you want to get some of Linda. I know that sounds bad, but just go to lynda.com forward slash soldier and you'll get a free week of free full seven days to go ahead and try out lynda.com and see what you think. Again, just go to lynda.com forward slash soldier.